Welcome back to Movie Recapped. Today I will show you a horror film from 2015, titled The Body of Anna Fritz. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The Body of Anna Fritz, a famous movie star is being rolled into the funeral home by an orderly because she had died in a bathroom during a private party and her autopsy will be performed the next morning. The orderly taking her inside is seen putting her body in line with the others, uncovering her face, and taking a picture of her with his phone. Later, Ivan and Javi are seen walking into the same hospital and asking to see the orderly. Pal meets them in the hospital lobby and Ivan asks him if he has more photos to show them, then laughs about it and tells him that they will be going to a party. Ivan asks if he wants to join them but Pal says that he has to work until midnight which is in an hour from then, then makes him find a spot for them where they can do a line. Pal takes them to the dumpsters out back and tells them no to touch the yellow one since it's for human waste. Javi is angry that he would bring them there because it stinks, then takes a bottle and some cups out. Pal reluctantly accepts the cup since he has more work to do and tells them that he doesn't want to go to the party because he has more work in the morning. They tell him to find another job but he explains that he likes working in the funeral home. The three friends toast in the name of the recently departed Anna Fritz and then Pal makes them hurry up. Ivan asks about her body and if Pal took a look at it, but when he says that he did Javi winces. He tells them that her body will be in the funeral home of the hospital until the next day. Pau takes them inside the hospital and Javi thinks that they're joking and won't actually go down in the funeral home, but Ivan keeps nagging Pau. They take the elevator to the basement and as they walk through the maze of hallways, Pau tells them to pretend that they're lost if someone happens upon them. When they arrive at the funeral home, he unlocks the door and guides them inside. Javi wants to leave because he's afraid someone will catch them there and they won't be able to lie out of the situation. The others convince him to stay and Pau shows them to see the body of the actress. Once both of them stand beside it, Javi says that he feels creeped out because he's never seen a dead body before. Pau rips the sheet away from the body and they jump back because he's revealed the body of an old lady. He laughs at them and Ivan asks to see Anna Fritz. They walk over and he uncovers Anna's face, but Ivan pulls the cover down and Pau says that she doesn't even look dead when Ivan grabs her breasts. He tells Javi to do it too and he reluctantly places his hand on her chest, saying that she's cold. Ivan wants to do another line there, but Javi just wants to leave and go to the party. Pau covers up the body and they both join Ivan to do one more line of coke. Ivan says that everyone would want to sleep with the actress and uncovers her entire body. They have a very disguising conversation about what it would be like to sleep with a dead woman and Pau tells them that he slept with the dead body of a teenage girl. Ivan asks him if he had slept with Anna Fritz too and Javi jokes that he'll probably do it when they leave. Then, Ivan says that he wants to sleep with her, to the disgust of Javi who tells him they should leave because he's drunk. Pau seems on board with Ivan's wish and tells Javi, who wants to get out of there, to wait in the other room until the necrophiliac is done then pushes him there. Javi can't believe that his friend would do something like that, but when Pau looks through the door he can see Ivan getting ready to sleep with the dead body. Javi freaks out in disbelief about what is happening and calls both of them sick. Pau doesn't share that opinion, so when Ivan comes back he goes out to do the same. Javi is the only one there that seems to see the problem with what they're doing, but Ivan always comes up with some sick explanation, equally as degrading to living women, for why he should try it too. Pau climbs on top of the actress and does his business when she opens her eyes. To make matters even more horrible, Anna is actually alive, and when Pau finally realizes that, he freaks out. The two others rush into the funeral home as the woman glances at them, lying on the funeral slab, immovable still. Javi is the first one to approach her and tells her to calm down and orders the others to get her some water. When they don't move, he does grabs the water himself and gives it to her as the others are freaking out. Javi asks Pau what they should do now, if they should call a doctor or take her up into the hospital, then turns to the woman and asks her if she's cold and goes to get something to dress her with. Ivan asks Pau if she saw him and if she doesn't know what actually happened to her, but he knows she saw him. Javi comes back and puts a medical gown on Anna when Ivan stops him and tells him that they need to think the entire situation through. Suddenly, they hear someone coming to the funeral parlor and need to hide. Javi argues that they should stay and explain, but they still pull the cover over her face and crouch down. An orderly rolls another dead body in the funeral home and Anna tries to call him over, but she can barely make a sound. She manages to pull the cover off, but he doesn't see her before he walks out. Javi quickly returns to her side and tries to calm her and Ivan makes him go to the other room and talk it out. Pau and Ivan are freaking out about what would happen if anyone would find out about what they did, saying that because she's famous it would come out everywhere from newspapers to the TV. Javi tries to convince them that she doesn't know what they did to her and that she didn't see them, but Pau is worried that she knows. Ivan confirms it and says that she'll talk, but Javi doesn't care and wants to help her. He tells them that everybody thinks that she's dead and implies that they should kill her, 
but Javi doesn't even want to discuss it and doesn't care that Pau and Ivan are both involved in what happened. Javi walks out and starts dragging the body out of the funeral home when Ivan stops him and begs him not to do it because he doesn't want to go to jail. The only sane friend asks them if they understand what they're asking him, they're asking him to kill her which terrifies Anna when she hears it. Javi tells Ivan to open the door as she begs him to get her out, then goes to open it himself when they realize that the door is locked and that Pau has left the keys outside. Ivan and Javi fight, but Ivan punches him almost to death before Pau can get him off of him. Pau checks if he's okay and says that he's breathing but losing a lot of blood. Ivan apologizes to him as Pau comes back with a sheet for his head, Ivan says that they should call someone but instead leave him somewhere in the hospital where he'll be easily found. They drag him to the other room and put him in a corner. Javi is barely alive. Ivan tells Pau to get the girl inside the room so they can call for someone to unlock them from the funeral home. Pau realizes that they also have to clean up first while Ivan tells Javi to lie to the police when they question him. He tells him not to say anything about the girl then walks out with Pau to clean up. Javi opens his eyes and apologizes to Anna, telling her that he'll get help, but she tells him not to move because she knows that he will die if he does. The two others walk in and she tells them that he's in bad shape, bleeding out, but Javi tells her to shut up. Suddenly, the other orderly walks inside the funeral home and Pau goes to meet him as Ivan keeps Anna quiet. Pau tells the man that the orderly from the night shift locked him in when the man asks to see the body of Anna Fritz. He manages to get him out of there and leaves Anna and Javi alone with Ivan. He checks on Javi, but the man is already dead. Ivan tries to resuscitate him and Anna cries because he's died. Pau comes back and Ivan tells him that Javi is dead. The orderly cries, as Ivan tells him that even if they brought him upstairs he wouldn't have survived because he was in bad shape. Pau says that they'll spend their entire life in jail, but Ivan says that they'll get rid of his body too. Anna asks them if they haven't done too much evil already and says that she won't tell anyone. Ivan grabs Pau and tells him to ignore her because what they do next will mark the rest of their lives. They argue and Ivan tries to manipulate him into believing that they are both at equal fault and that if anything comes out everyone will know what he did. Meanwhile, Anna gets herself down from the slab and looks through Javi's pockets for his phone. Ivan asks Pau how they can get Javi's body out of the hospital in a trash can and he answers that they can use the emergency door. Once they go inside, they see Anna on the phone and she tells them that she called her father and only told him that she woke up. Ivan checks the phone, realizing she's called a number and she tells him that her father is seeking help and they will come for her. They think that it's over because she called from Javi's phone and they take her upstairs. Suddenly, an unknown number calls Javi's phone and Ivan picks it up when Anna screams and Pau keeps her quiet. He realizes that the call never got through completely and that she lied to them so they take her back to the funeral home. Ivan hits Anna and argues with her when she tells him that it's no wonder that he rapes dead bodies because he's disgusting. He tells Pau to tie her up while he goes out to get a trash can. Pau gets some gauze and begins cutting it up when Anna tells him that if he does what Ivan tells him he'll surely end up in jail. But, he isn't a murderer and he can't let Iva kill her, saying that she's alive because of him and won't say anything. Anna begs him to let her go but Pau ties her up nevertheless. She tells him that Ivan killed Javi in front of her while he was out of the room and that he never intended to take him to the hospital. Pau thinks that she's lying to him again and puts tape over her mouth. In the meantime, Ivan goes to get the trash but ends up trapped behind it because some nurses go out to smoke there. While Pau is cleaning up the other room, Anna takes out the tape and tries to get the restraints from her hands off, but when she doesn't manage, she takes out the ones from her legs. Anna drops down on the floor and crawls herself out of the funeral home, managing to hide just in time before Ivan returns. When he does come back he tells Pau that she escaped and they split up to look for her in the maze of hallways. Anna eludes capture for a while, crawling throughout the halls, and eventually manages to get back on her feet, but she falls back down and crawls to the elevator. When she thinks she's safely inside, Ivan grabs the door and drags her back to the funeral home. Pau comes back and asks him if he killed Javi when he wasn't around so Ivan tells him that she wants to set Pau against him. They come back inside and Ivan is ready to kill her so he tells Pau they will suffocate her with bedsheets. Pau doesn't want to do it and neither does Ivan, but in the end, he decides that both of them should kill her. They suffocate her and as they do it she pees over herself. Pau helps Ivan to lift her back on the slab and then they get Javi's body into the trash. Ivan goes to take the body out and dump it somewhere, while Pau cleans up the funeral home and Anna's body. When Ivan leaves the hospital and dumps Javi on the side of the road, returning the trash where he found it, Pau scrubs Anna's body from all of the evidence about what happened. He covers her body with a new sheet and puts her back in the line with the others. Pau gets his stuff and waits for Ivan when he hears Anna coughing. He goes over to the body and when he uncovers her, tells her to pretend that she's dead, then she opens her eyes and looks at him. Ivan comes back and Pau covers Anna up, then tells Ivan to leave because he got everything. 
Ivan walks over to her and takes a final look, asking if he cleaned her up well. The two of them leave, but before they get to the elevator Ivan realizes that he's missing his card. Pau tries to convince him not to go back to the funeral home and when they enter they see Anna on her feet. Ivan attacks Pau and tries to kill him but stops, kicking him down and preparing to leave when Anna shows up and stabs him repeatedly. She waits for him to die. Pau approaches her telling her that they were about to leave and she shouldn't have done it, but Anna looks at him and stabs him too. Over and over and over again. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.